What's up, everybody? Brock here, a.k.a. The Brockness Monster. So, I've got another comic book haul video for you guys today. So, may have a problem. Because my original plan was just to go to the comic book shop and pick up, like, maybe 10 or 15 books. Do a little, like, five-minute haul video for you guys. And then, you know, that'd be the end of it. However, yeah, so at some point, I feel like my wife's probably going to call the hoarder show and I'm going to be that guy that's just like buried under a rubble of comics and junk and dead cats. But anyway, we'll go through. So. I decided uh, on my videos, I'm going to start doing um, shout outs. So either I'm going to like shout out a specific community member or another content creator that I'm actually enjoying watching videos of. So for this video, I want to give a shout out to DJ Lynx. Your boy, DJ Lynx, back in the building, back in effect. Okay, I'm so sorry. That sounded so lame coming from me. Anyway, go check out DJ Lynx. I'll link his uh, channel down below. Uh, you never know. I mean, somebody may come across my channel or one of my videos and they might not have heard of these other channels. You know, just grow the community and whatnot. So uh, DJ Lynx is, uh, is a really cool dude. Uh, I'm enjoying talking back and forth with him and stuff through chat and comments and whatnot. So he does uh, comic book mystery boxes. He does action figure um, hot toy reviews, which are really cool. Like, I'm not huge into action figures, but I actually like watching his review videos of those. Um, he's kind of dipping his toes into the Funko Pop world a little bit. He's doing comic book hauls. You know, he's got got a little bit of everything. So, go check out DJ Links. Sub him up. So, all right. We're going to get into the comic book haul. So, we'll start out with the new comics. I know what you're saying. Like, you've said in previous videos, you don't really collect new comics. Well, you know what? I blame you guys. I joke. I kid. But, seriously though, like, I watch all these videos and people are like, picking up these awesome new comics and stuff, and I'm like, okay. Alright. I'm in. So, picked up quite a few new comics. Now, this first one is actually not that new. It's actually from March of 2019. It's actually uh, Amazing Spider-Man 13, and it's a Decades variant for the 1950s. Really dug that. Fing Fang Foom on the cover there. You got the Cowboy Western. So that was cool. And then we picked up Juggernaut number one, just the A cover. And I saw a lot of people mention the Chadwick Boseman. That was kind of neat that they did that. And also, if you look inside the book, there's actually also a, a whole splash page that's a tribute to Joe Sinat, who also passed away this year. So that was pretty cool. And we picked up Immortal She-Hulk number one. We got Spider-Woman number four. That's a pretty sweet variant. I like that green background. That was really cool. It makes everything kind of pop. Big Spider-Woman fan. I actually recently completed a full run of volume one, so that was cool. We got Iron Man number one variant. That's an Alex Ross variant. So that was just a cool cover that I picked up. We got Maestro number two variant. I actually didn't pick up the A cover of Maestro number two. I'll probably go back at some point and get the A cover, maybe. We got Thor number six, second print. And I gotta be honest. I mean, this is an awesome cover, don't get me wrong. But, like, all these multiple printings, like, totally reminds me of the 90s. <laughs> anyway, that was a really cool cover, so I picked that up. And we picked up Giant Size X-Men number one for Storm. That was a really sweet cover. I really like that cover, too. Not sure who did that cover. I'll have to look at that. Now, these next ones are some of the ones that I specifically went for. So we got Giant Size X-Men Storm number one. This is the Alex Ross Timeless variants that came out. So I believe there's like 33 of these that are going to be coming out. And I actually want to pick up all of them at some point. Really digging those. I believe those are like 1 in 100 ratio variants or something like that. Anyway, we got the Hulk. So that's Immortal Hulk number 37. 
and we got the cap. We got the She-Hulk from Immortal She-Hulk number one. So those were the four of the the new Alex Ross covers that I was able to get. And I picked up Detective Comics 1027. That's a Del Auto variant. Really cool cover. Or as the kids call it, Tech 1027. I don't know. But yeah, love that cover. That was cool. Super thick, too. I'm sure you guys probably saw these in the shops, but crazy thick. All right, so that was it for the new comic books. Now we'll get into the back issues that I rifled through. So we got X-Men 21 from the 90s. Nothing special there. I don't know why I'm picking up singular issues of these. Number 22. I should just look on eBay for a big lot of them, and it'd probably be a lot cheaper. But And number 31. So pretty cool spiral and Psylocke cover there. All right. So for the first part of the uh, title of this video, you may have noticed, have I been brainwashed by the Fuminati? I mean, you go on the Mystery Men show with Comic Fu 2814 a couple times, and then the next thing you know, you're a Marvel collector picking up DC books. So we got Action Comics 589. Now these next ones are specifically what I was talking about because the furry one, aka the king of the furries, aka Fu, uh, showed these, some of these specific issues off in one of his pickup videos. So we got Action Comic Weekly uh, 608. So we got a Green Lantern cover there. And we got 609, so that's Black Canary. And we got 614, so that's another Green Lantern. And we got 631, Phantom Stranger. I really liked that. That purple background was really cool. And we got what, 634. Yep, yeah, another Green Lantern. And 638, so Demon. Jack Kirby goodness there. Now, obviously, I joke about that I was I I've been looking to kind of expand and start getting into some DC stuff so but peer pressure anyway that was it for the DC so now we're gonna get into the Marvel back issues now the other part of the title of this video was avoid the mistake that I made so I'm gonna help you out with that so I picked up GI Joe number two and this was only like five dollars and I like freaked out. I was like, oh, G.I. Joe number two, five bucks? Yeah, all day. Here's the problem. If you notice the 75 cent price, okay? This is actually a second print. And after looking it up, what this was, was it was one of those like three packs that you pick up in a drugstore. So that is actually like a dollar comic. Oh, well. And we got another one. So this is number 14. This is the first full appearance of uh, Destro. But unfortunately, same thing. So this is a second print. And I actually, so I already have this in the first print newsstand. So I'll show you that. That way you can compare. I'll show the two of them there. So yeah, there you go. There's the difference. Like I said, I did not pick this one up today. This was already in my personal collection. I just wanted to pull it out to show the difference there. And we got issue 29. It gets even worse. This is actually a third print. Oh well, I got them in the, uh, I've been trying to do a GI Joe run, so they're in there now. And if worse comes to worse, I can go back later and find first printings if I really want. And we picked up Issue 49, so that is a first print newsstand. We got issue 53, so that was cool to find. That's actually the Marvel 25th anniversary. It's got the the border that all those comics had. So uh, I'm trying to work on picking up all of these, you know, for you gamer 
people out there. It's kind of like a side mission. All right, and then my oddball pick of the day. Heroes for Hope, starring the X-Men number one. So this isn't that odd, but this was, all proceeds from this went to the uh, Famine Relief and Recovery in Africa. So that's from 1985, just a one shot. So that was my one kind of oddball pick of the day. Got Daredevil 212, just a filler issue there. It's got Kingpin cover. Got Daredevil 279. Daredevil 280. All right, and then we got three more. So found Iron Man 133. So I picked this up because I'd actually never really seen this cover. And I noticed it was Bronze Age and it had uh, Ant-Man on it. So I was like, oh, maybe this is like an early Scott Lang Ant-Man appearance. Obviously his first, as Ant-Man, his first appearance is Marvel Premiere 47 and then 48. But I was like, maybe it's like his third appearance as Ant-Man. No, it's like his sixth, fourth cover appearance though. Still a cool comic. Kind of neat to find. So, All right. <clears throat> we got... Incredible Hulk, number 377. So this is actually the first appearance of Professor Hulk. And what was kind of cool about this, opposite of what happened with the G.I. Joe comics, this is a second print that's actually more valuable than the first print. So the first print actually has a green background, and then the Hulk is black, and then it's like pink lettering. And there's actually a third print, that has like a yellow background and then the lettering's like a different color. If you find the third print, pick it up no matter what. Even if you don't collect Hulk and then give it to me or something. I don't know. Because that third print's like really, really expensive. So, but really cool to find that. Uh, I paid $11 for this and it was a lot hotter when Endgame was out because of the Professor Hulk kind of tie in there. But it's still probably like, this is actually in really good shape. And it's black cover. So it's probably like a $25, $30 book maybe. Just guessing. And the best pick of the day. To go with my other pickups. Got G.I. Joe number one. Super happy to find that. But then when I found out those other ones were like, second and third prints and stuff. I was like, oh crap. But this is actually a first print and a newsstand. So really cool to find that. And actually, I got it for $7. Saved the old bag and board. Now it's not in like incredibly fantastic shape. Not like near mint or anything. But it's not like falling apart or anything like that either. It's probably mid-grade. So that's pretty cool. Pretty happy to find that for the G.I. Joe run. All right, guys, so that was it for the comic book haul. Um, I appreciate you stopping by, and as always, foods are free.